there, it's Gemma. Um, I'm very aware that I haven't made a camping video for a couple of weeks at least. And I just thought I'd update everybody about what's going on. It's a very damp day here in the forest. We're at the tail end of Storm Bert and another rainstorm overnight. And um, the wind's blown a lot of the leaves off the trees and limbs are breaking or broken on the trees. <clears throat> so I thought I'd just come out today for a short walk. Yeah, basically life has got in the way I've got lots of important things I need to address. Um, so, unfortunately, camping's fallen by the wayside a little. This is normally a footpath, but we've got a lot of rainwater flowing down the hill. Which is nice to see. After the droughts we experienced in 2022, I'm always very grateful for the rain. And we're lucky here in Ilford, in Essex, because we haven't been hit by the flooding that a lot of people are experiencing at the moment. Good job I've got my wellies. <laughs> anyway, I'll navigate this little section and I'll be back. These colours are just so vibrant. The yellows and the evergreen. It's good to be back. I haven't been in the forest for a week. So lots has changed as ever. Carry on a little while. And I have to kind of really motivate myself to come out when I've got so much going on. And it's easy just to roll out of bed and into the office. <laughs> not bother with exercise or fresh air or yoga which is my other go-to when I'm well all the time actually I'm very committed I do it every day of the year uh, it's so important to keep up these uplifting sustaining practices this time of year I find I have to look harder for the 
fungi, little mushrooms, but they're still there despite the frost we've had. Caught up in a holly bush here. So you can see I've had to duck under this bush and search to find the treasure of the fungi that's so such an inspiring plant, such a vital part of the ecosystem. This area here is what I lovingly nicknamed the theatre space because I've, if you look back at some of my earlier videos, I perform my musical instruments often in this little area. There's a nice ledge over there to sit on. Um, And in the pandemic, people used to walk past and comment how much they were enjoying the music and how unusual it is to find, it was, to find a musician playing. And at that time, I was still very much in performance mode and needed an audience for my music, even if it was non-human and it was the crows in the trees and the squirrels, which to me is the best audience. Nature is the best audience. And it's funny how all the little creatures come out literally out of the woodwork when I play They're not frightened, they're curious. <laughs> so, uh, talking of my musical instruments, I'm going to start busking again. So as people know, I had shoulder bursitis for a couple of years and which meant that I couldn't play. It's pretty devastating and I've ne never given up though, I've, as you can see, I compose lots of music, post it on YouTube and slowly been getting back into playing now that my limbs have loosened up a little bit. So I just got a... Um, custom made board with a QR code on for people to tap when I'm busking so that I can be paid via card, you know, because a lot of people don't carry cash anymore and um, I'm excited to see how that works or doesn't work. So maybe I'll film some of my busking adventures. And coming up to Christmas, so I thought, well, what better time to start? And what a different social climate I'm going to be busking in now, because... Um, I'm trying to think when I last played. 2020 I was in Paris playing. And that was pretty near the uh, terrorist attacks in Paris and there were lots of army walking about. But I never felt personally threatened as I do today. We're just walking along the street where I live. I can't afford to travel into London and out again, so I'm going to try Ilford, which I used to busk in. 
Um, there's some designated pitches there. And, uh, but I'm frightened, to be honest. Frightened of being stabbed, which I shouldn't have to be. <laughs> and, uh, but rest assured, if I feel under threat, I will pack up and leave. Nothing's worth risking your life for. <sighs> but, um... I've got to start from somewhere again and most of my gigs have come from busking. Most of the people I've met, the bands I've formed, uh, or we formed together, that's all come from meeting people on the street, word of mouth. And 20 years ago I was very busy. It's only since the pandemic um, that things have been very difficult. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'm going to be full steam ahead with my Aberdeen dream of relocating there. If, as I've said before, it feels impossible right now. That's something that I'll never achieve, but I'm focused and determined. Um... I've just got to keep pressing on, seeing what feels right, making the most of opportunities that I can take with my limited circumstances at the moment. And um, yeah, can't say I'm not scared, but lots of changes are afoot, scary changes, financial things. Um, personal things but you can't resist change in life however hard we try we've got to just go with the flow and stick to your values stick to your passions stick to what feels right, what's important to you, that's all we can do at the end of the day. And when I come here, I'm reminded that I have survived as a solo camper. And I've learned a lot about wild edible food and I've just got to remember basically that I'm a resilient person resourceful creative and I think so long as I've got my cat by my side and I stay focused on the present moment all will be well, anyway. That's where I'm up to at the moment. Okay, I'm coming up to a wide section of gravel path, which is normally passable, but it's... Uh, flooded and I've got my Wellington boots on one of the best inventions ever so I thought I'd wade in a little way hang on to the trees just see how deep it goes
wow, I can't see the bottom, but it's coming right up my shins. It's fun watching the water kind of wobble the silhouettes of the trees around when I disturb the surface. I love it. Yeah. I'm going to get out of here because it's dangerous. I've come to the end of my walk now and um, it was so pleasant today, there was nobody about and the air is fresh but I'm not cold, it was just what the doctor ordered. There were little birds flitting around here just a second ago, There's all the nests in the trees are becoming visible now, the leaves have almost come off so I'm going to say goodbye now and as I said earlier I'm hoping to do another camping video soon I just need to get some things off my mind before I can do that. It was fun preparing for Scotland and making those videos, preparation videos and then the video for the actual Aberdeen adventure. So I'm thinking of setting myself another goal. I'd like to go to Snowdonia in Wales. Um, so we'll see. So there's lots of plans afoot so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time and thank you also for my new subscribers and those that comment and like my videos it's always appreciated okay bye